they hit the nation with it. First of all, we have barrage balloons all over the place. Come to my I'm enjoying the show tremendously myself, Sir Johnny. What do you think, Dominic? Really very interesting. A rough Scotch diamond. Just needs a little polishing. A little professionalism. Oh, that costs money. We can take that on board. Arrange the grants, fix the subsidies. Ah, uh, 50 or 60,000, nay bother. Although those national bodies do insist you work through professional studios. I'll leave you one of these. Lovely shortbread. So moist. Well, enjoy your puddings and pears then. Oh, the Dundry desserts have a certain je ne sais quoi, wouldn't you agree? <gasps> oh, here, anyone have the ice cream Charlie? The Prince of Sundays drenched in draft dram beauty. Oh, awfully appropriate, really. You see, Dundry Lairs knocked a bottle throw from the very spot where the Bonnie Prince had his last taste of Scotland. Oh, I'm referring, of course, to Prince Charles Sobieski Stuart. Oh, Rumor has it that this was the moment he chose to give his old Polish mother's recipe for chocolate liqueurs away. Well, now, if we're all recalled from the bar, eh, let's take up our Scotch story once more. This place was all a ruin when I was a young girl. Mm. Take my hat off to Sir Johnny. The castle just looks like new. Quite antique. Isn't Sir Johnny a relative of John Drummond's? He's Lady Wishart's nephew by marriage. I thought so. I saw them both at the garden party. What an atrocious hat she was wearing. You never saw it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy my tea now. <laughs> We've paid enough for it. You'll remember we left Ossian down here, wrapped in Macpherson's tartan plaid. Oh, poor old Jamie. Oh, he died the very same year as Rabbi Burns. <laughs> but he lived long enough to see the government's ban on tartan finally lifted. Well, none of my next three guests would have been seen dead in kilts. Here first is Rabbi Burns, smiling off a shortbread tin, soon to meet Sir Walter Scott and fare along with Baron. <laughs> Farewell, my rhyme composing Billy. Your native soil was quite ill willy. I'll toast you in my henmost gilly, though over the sea. You know, Macpherson's Ossian, or Fragments of Ancient Poetry, was published in the same year that I was born. And so, Jamie, here's a few fragments of modern poetry, quite all my own. Scotland, my all respected mother, though while she moistify your leather, freedom and whiskey gang together. Take off your dram. Freedom and whiskey gang the gither Tack up your drag Tack up your drag Not here, my 
chasing the deer, the chasing the wild deer, and following the roar. My heart's in the highlands, but chasing the deer. It was I who penned these lines. But it cannot be so, for they're here in my collection. But I've used them as my own. Then whose lines are they? It's scotch free. <laughs> Why is it that in Scotland a man is remembered for the lines he didn't write? From scenes like these, old Scotia's grandeur springs. Oh, Caledonia, stern and wild, meet nurse for a poetic child. Land of brown heath and shaggy wood, land of the mountain and the flood. Breathe there a man with soul so dead, who never to himself has said, this is my own, my native land. When with poetry dealing, room enough in a shilling, neither cabin nor hobble, too small for a novel. Oh, how my fancy would prance in a dance or a mouse. <laughs> but my house I must swap with some brob ding nag chap. And I grapple. God bless me. We're Emperor Nap. My glory springs from the ancient wells of Mosia. His book I have given to all my favorite generals, especially the Marshal MacDonald, himself a warrior from the northern shores of Finger. On the field of battle, or under the proud, fluttering tricolor of France, Ossian has always been my inspiration. Ossian, je suis Ossian, Ossian, je suis Ossian, c'est moi, oh Ossian, 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 oh Ossian. Tongues have expired with those who gave them birth. Great Scott, that's vile. And thinkst thou, Scott, by vain conceit, perchance, to foist on public taste thy stale romance? Say, will not Caledonia's annals yield the glorious record of some nobler field? than the wild foray of a plundering clan whose proudest deeds disgrace the name of man. And though, as you remember, in a fit of wrath and rhyme, when juvenile and curly, I railed at Scots to show my wrath and wit, which must be owned was sensitive and surly. Yet, it is in vain such sallies to permit. They cannot quench young feelings fresh early. I scotched, not killed, the Scotsman in my blood, and loved the land of mountain and the flood. <laughs>